What's going on guys? Sky here from TechLift Today back in another video and in today's TechLift Today Daily uh, we're going to be talking to you guys about the iPad Pro 2, the, iP the uh, Apple Watch sales that are going on right now at Target and other places, the Samsung Gear VR now works with web native VR format which is pretty cool and much more so let's get right into it let's get into today's edition of the TechLift Today Daily. Alright so, so to start off let's talk about the Apple Watch sales. So if you go to Target.com today you can find a wide variety of different Apple Watch variants, uh, from the general Apple Watch to the Apple Watch Sport. All right, so, but however, while the majority of the Apple Watch Sport models were, uh, are uh, the regular two ninety nine price, this one as well as the white one is two forty nine. So it's hundred dollars off or twenty nine percent off, which is incredible. Um, so you can also buy the protection plan for the extra thirty five dollars. So it's a great deal. I definitely recommend checking out. Checking it out. This is for the thirty eight millimeter. The forty two is the still general three forty nine price tag. But I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, if I remember, the link will be in the description below for you guys. Next up will be the iPad Pro two. So if you guys haven't heard, the iPad Pro nine point seven inch just came out a few weeks ago with brand new specs, that kind of stuff. All right, so that's pretty cool. I have to give it to them. But the iPad Pro two is going to have some spec upgrades. It's going to have a new. Uh, A10 processor, at least what we're hearing it's going to be called, or AX, or something like that. It's going to be a really cool name, I hope. Uh, the same camera, or a 12, updated 12 megapixel sensor in comparison to the 8 megapixel. Unfortunately, it looks like there's going to still be a camera bump. The four speakers are going to remain the same. A 5 megapixel front facing camera, improved touch ID, and possible force touch, which make it really cool in comparison to the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. So if anything, it'll be a lot like this one right here. So let me just get that up real quick. Alright, so, oh, wrong one. Alright, let me compare the two sizes. Let me show you guys real quick. So, if you look at the specs, it's going to be very similar to the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. It's pretty much that device. Uh, so, that makes it simple for you guys. If that helps you out with any, anyway, that's basically how it works. So, let's just show you guys the specs of the 9.7 inch real quick. So, you have a wide variety of colors, like rose gold, that kind of stuff. Uh, 32 gigs. Let's just show that one off. Let's see if I can find the specs uh, for it real quick. Um, I don't see it anywhere, but the 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 point of this whole thing is that it's going to be very similar to the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, um, which is not a bad thing. I have I can't say it's a bad thing. The only disappointing part is, of course, the camera bump. I can't stand that camera bump. It's really annoying. But uh, I really hope Apple finds a way to fix that issue because it kind of annoys me a lot. Uh, but who knows? And the final thing today is the Samsung Gear VR now works with the web uh, native. VR format. So, so some early uh, web VR support ha has now finally added some, ex as, as you can see from Engadget.com, some extra immersion, all right, to your web browsing, which is really cool. All right, so if you haven't heard, which I use this on my Gear VR daily, they have a web browser, but it's now you can actually experience and browse the virtual reality experiences that you find on the web as well, which is really cool. And uh, I have to say, it gives them a it gives them a nice push, all right, past the, their store. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Be sure to head over to techlipstake.com for more tech news just like this. And oh, by the way, let me just uh, let you guys know real quick about this, which is a really cool thing. We're proud to announce that we have the Apple Watch in our office, which is really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.